bursting passion, a taste of this direction, hunger and thirst. I am focus, distraction. I am. I feel every part. A seed in your garden, I am. A piece in your madness, I am. There's always challenges, even if you live in relative isolation. You will come into contact with humans that are unconscious. So. I think the you need to welcome that because it's that it's all it's those challenges force you to become more present. You remember I talked about the other day if you want to make the body stronger, you do exercise, you do physical exercise. And what is physical exercise? It's making life difficult for the body. That's a, a new way of looking at it. But if you look at it closely, you'll see it. It is true because the body suddenly has to make an enormous effort. You're forcing the body. You're pre giving the body challenges that were not there before. Lift a heavy weight, run a mile, or whatever it is you're doing. And so then through being challenged beyond its comfort zone, the body gets stronger. And in the case of spiritual growth, we need all those unconscious humans to challenge us. Otherwise, we, the presence would not intensify and, and arise. So the first thing we need to do, and I learned that also, to regard these unconscious humans as blessings. So rather than believing you shouldn't be here making my life difficult, regard the unconscious human as something, a necessary part of being here on this planet at this time. And so you can welcome them when they make life difficult for you. The important thing is, though, that humans, the unconscious humans, do not pull you into unconsciousness yourself. That's, that is the challenge, the biggest challenge. And what I mentioned in the previous session also applies here. When you are being challenged by situations or people, up to a certain point of human development, the moment a situation gets challenging or you meet a challenging person, you become reactive and become more unconscious than you were before you were challenged. So you meet a, an angry person, you get angry yourself. Uh, you meet a confrontational person and you become even more confrontational. You're fighting. Then a certain thing happens. You reach that level where beyond which the challenges make you more conscious. I think most of the people here will have reached the level where you may occasionally be pulled back, yes, but may have reached the level where from now on, when challenges come into your life through situations or people, you become more present rather than be pulled into unconscious reaction. And that's your spiritual practice that can be your main spiritual practice. So if you realize relationships are your spiritual practice, whether they are short relationships or at work or family relationships. If you can shift your the, the way you look at relationships and then regard relationships as spiritual practice, it's much easier to deal with unconscious humans. And then the challenge is to stay present while they are being unconscious with you.
Don't try.